So I'm starting off with my Lightful C Plus Spray by MAC. Then I'm taking my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, blending that all over my face, um, making sure to really blend it into the skin because it can tend to ball up if you don't blend it properly. Um, and then I'm taking my MAC Studio Fix um, Foundation with the Beauty Blender and making sure I really blend that into my skin, really get up in my hairline, blend it in so it leaves a seamless, smooth finish. Then I'm taking my Huda Beauty Tan Tua Cream in the shade Light and I'm using an angular foundation brush and I'm blending that in to the hollows of my cheeks, um, on my temples, a little bit underneath my jawline, um, a little bit on the nose, not to really contour as much, but just to add a little bit of warmth to my face. Don't mind my hideous facial expressions while trying to do my jawline contouring. <laughs> And taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer um, with the Beauty Blender, not applying too much because I don't really like um, too much heavy concealer underneath my eye because I do tend to crease quite a bit. So I apply a very small amount, um, blending it underneath my eye, only focusing on the places that I really tend to have darkness because this concealer does have a little bit of a peachy undertone, the shade that I got, um, which helps to um, hide up all those dark purple bags underneath the eyes. Um, and here I'm just taking off my foundation on my lips because I absolutely hate it. It annoys me. I can't stand foundation on my lips. Um, and then I'm going to be taking my Laura Mercier powder, powdering my whole face with a very light, fluffy brush. I'm taking my MAC bronzer, um, blending that over the places that I did my cream contouring with. Um, I love this bronzer. I recently just picked it up. I've never previously tried any MAC bronzing products and it's really really nice really buildable coverage um, and then I'm just taking one of my morphe blush palettes um, and taking a really pinky shade um, remembering to not apply too much because it is a really really pigmented palette um, I'm just applying that on focusing more on my high points of my cheekbone and a little bit on my apples of my cheeks then I'm taking my sub zero palette um, and applying that on my cheekbone with a nice fluffy blendable brush. Um, I like using really, really small crease um, eyeshadow brushes to apply my highlight. One of my favourite tricks is to apply highlight on the top of my brow bone. Um, I just love the way it looks. It looks really glowy and really, um, like, the skin looks really glassy. I love it. Um, I'm then going to take my Max Fix Plus spray and spray it into my pear soap um, and then grab a spoolie brush and really dig that in, kind of like, I don't know, smush it, smush it around um, uh, so it really gets into the spoolie. Um, I then brush up my eyebrows. Um, this helps so much with my brows because they never ever stay up they're really stubborn brows and they grow naturally downwards so this really helps um, them stay up and I also love the soap brow look so this is how I've been doing my brows um, lately and I love it and then taking my Anastasia Pro Palette um, mixing kind of like a two shades that they're, they're very torpy shades um, more gray tone which I love I don't really like putting warm shades on my eyebrows um, because my hair is really really dark naturally so I'm just kind of filling in all these little spots not very precisely because I do I am really liking that um, undone brow look it looks really chic and really natural and really pretty I'm um, just doing that on both sides. 
I'm really focusing on the areas that are sparse and that need a little bit of more thickness. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again on a flat brush and I am carving, carving out my underneath of the brows. I don't like to touch the top when I'm doing this kind of brow only because it does ruin the purpose of the soap fluffy brows. Um, so only going underneath with it, blending it down and all over my eyelid also. I'm then grabbing my 90 Neutral Palette from Morphe. I believe that's what it's called. Um, I'm grabbing the light um, matte, like a creamy shadow, applying that all over the eyelid just to set that concealer that I placed. Then I'm taking a, it's like a warm orange it's really really pretty and I'm just applying that into my crease a little bit above it um, in my socket and blending that out and really winging it um, lately I've been loving an elongated eyeliner it really helps to give that um, cat eye effect then I am grabbing that chrome shimmer it's so pigmented honestly it's so beautiful. Um, I've really been loving those warm orange shades lately. They look really, really pretty. And they even look more beautiful with blue eyes. Then I'm grabbing that brown um, with an angular brush. And I am giving myself a little bit of a wing. Um, this also helps to create a cat eye effect, which I'm loving lately. So I'm just kind of really blending that really really close to my lash line then i'm grabbing um the same crease brush and i'm blending that underneath my lash line then i'm grabbing that kind of gold shimmery to um put that in the inner corner of my eye to brighten that up um i love an inner corner highlight it just looks really nice puts a look together then i'm grabbing some more concealer and i am just kind of making that wing look a little bit more sharper and more prominent. Um, even though it is a powder, I still want it to look a little bit more sharp and put together and, and less blown out than the eyeshadow. Um, then I am grabbing a brown eyeliner and I'm putting that in my waterline and also tight lining it a little bit, but only on the top inner part of my eye. Um, I love brown eyeliner. It doesn't look as harsh as black, but it's still it still gives the eye some depth. I'm then taking my lip liner by Morphe in the shade Bite Me. And I am just applying that on my lip line. Um, I do like to overdraw my lips just a little bit. Um, they are quite naturally a little bit bigger, um, but I do like to accentuate my lip size just a little bit, um, especially on my top part of my lip because my bottom lip is larger than my top. I am taking a lipstick by Morphe in the shade Hey Sugar, applying that all over my lips um, and then I'm going back in with that lip liner and I am just kind of blending it in, making sure the edges are nice and crisp. Then I'm grabbing my Demi Wispies by Model Rock Lashes. Um, I love these shape eyelashes. They really wing out the eye. Um, they're super easy to put on. The lash band's really, really nice. It's flexible, fits the eye well. Um, then I'm taking just any, any type of mascara. This one is Wet n Wild, I believe. Um, it's waterproof, anything waterproof. I prefer waterproof over um, non-waterproof. Um, so I'm just applying that on my lashes and on my bottom lashes also. Excuse my ugly mascara face. <laughs> then I'm taking my Max Fix Plus setting spray. And that is my everyday makeup routine and updated brow routine. Bye guys.